slowly work it back. Stop it. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. I'm John Rone. We got Morgan Miracle with us and Chris Ford back there. We're in Ocean City, Maryland, heading out for some tog, and I'm about to fall off the boat. I've caught one tog this year, y'all. I caught one tog. I'm excited to put some fish in the boat, see what happens. If we're not out here, we're not catching fish. So thanks for hanging out. We appreciate all you guys, all the support, all the love. We really do love you. Appreciate it. Enjoy the video. Alright, so guys, we came out. I can't even find out where land is. Where's land? Oh, there it is. Back there. Land's back there. Came out like eight miles, nine miles, trying to find the, this reef out here. This is a huge reef that spans like five miles. Like four miles. Probably not. Spans like a mile and a half. But we're gonna get rocking here. We're gonna drop down. All we have today is shrimp, frozen shrimp. So it's hero zero, all or nothing. The whole kit and caboodle is based off shrimp. So I'll be catching a lot of sea bass and pinfish. But we'll see. Morgan's practicing safety. He's got his new life vest on. We got our rubbers on too. Very much appreciated. All about that tough life. Tough life. Extra tough, Extra tough boots. Madness is about to ensue. Come on, nibble, nibble. Yeah! Morgan's on. Look at that fish on. Oh, one. Ah, a little sea biscuit. See, we knew the sea bass was out here. I was just saying that. There we go. There's life. And they're a little bigger than that's a beautiful that's a fish. Cult. Look at that. Look at that thing. That thing's insane. That's so Look at pretty. the blue around the eyes. Cool shit. Awesome. How about that fish. sea biscuit? Thank you, sir. All right, dude. All right, guys. So we made a change already. We don't stick around a place very long. Uh, we're not getting the bites. Morgan got that one sea bass, but. With the amount of structure we were on, there should have been more activity, right? So we came, uh, we moved two miles to the, a different part of this reef structure. That gives you an idea how large this reef is. And when they're talking about fishing like big water, like this open water, it's so important to have good electronics, particularly a trolling motor. We can pull up over these things and bam, we're on top of structure. And we can just spot lock them right on it. You guys ask me what I use for my trolling motor. I have the Minn Kota Tarova 72 inch unit. It's a 36 volt system. So it's three batteries just for the trolling motor, which will last us when those these brand new batteries will last us all day out here. No problem. There we go. Dude, the water's so pretty out here, man. Green, pretty. Dog. Oh, he got a dog. Yeah, man. We are on the right spot. We're in fog of the day. Let's talk to Chris. Show, show your fans. <laughs> you have fans. We're in the first fog. And all kinds of colors, too. Oh, that's oh yeah. I saw that one coming. Look like a dog bite right there. Yeah, oh, tug dog. Little tater tog, man. Thank you for letting me catch you. See ya. Cool. Alright. Hey, Morgan. Alright, way, way to go. <laughs> Getting go 20. Oh, nice fish. Get him out. Crank, 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 crank. Real down, crank. That's a big fish. That's a big fish. Yeah, buddy. That's a stud right there. Bring this way? I don't know if it is. That's, that's, a, that's a key for calling, dude. That's a big fish, bro. Big fish, big fish. Yeah! yeah. Nice, dude. There we <laughs> go. Yeah, bro. There that's what we're looking that's for, guys. That's a, key for that's a male, too. Oh. What a beauty. Yeah, I was like, when I saw that rod bed, man, I was like, that's, that's a key. And I was like, you I was like, they're cranking, get them out there. Guys, check 
it out. That is a beauty. That's one. That's the year big tog on this boat. Yes. Love it. I don't care if I catch a fish on my boat. As long as people are catching fish, you guys know I love this. It. Like, it, I get so excited. Okay, I'm kind of lying a little bit. I really like catching fish. Everybody's always catching fish on my boat. Yeah, fish on. Mackerel, that's a nice one. Ooh. Wow. That's a keeper too, man. But they are not in season, guys, so this has to go back. We're about a week and a half away from season. That's a pretty fish, Beautiful. too. Beautiful. Nice one, dude. Definitely a keeper, man. Yeah, if you feel like sure. catch it. Back there she there. goes. Back down to the depth. Sweet, depths. sweet. All right, so we're fishing 54 foot of water. Big sea bass. Dude, what a Holy shit. They're called a stud sea bass. Okay, we're on some structure, that's for sure. Yeah, another blue one. Nice. Sweet. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Spaloosh. I check your trolling motor every once in a while. I, uh, I put it on my leg so my leg will hit stuff every once in a while we'll start drifting and none of us know we're just end up in another county we drifted so far almost need the engine nice one all right y'all midday update it's noon we're going back in because we've come out here. Morgan's caught two beautiful big sea bass. Chris caught that one beautiful tog. Uh, sea bass are not in season, so they went back. You saw that, but Chris has got a tog in the box. We're going to head back in because you can see behind me the white caps. The weather has changed. It changes quickly once that wind picks up out here. We just don't want to get caught out here in a 23-foot bay boat having to limp back in and take our time. So we're going we're gonna to be able to put the throttle down and get in. Still a little rough, but we'll get her done so we're heading in catch you guys at the jetty oh my god y'all that was sporty as my friend jeff would say my face is frozen oh, jelly. we had four four footers just blowing in here I'm trying to go 20. i got owned oh, let's get the sun Fish down. Fish definitely full of eggs. Holy moly. You gotta check out the eggs on this one. So Morgan just got that one. Sorry, I turned the camera off. Look at that beautiful female. Nice one, buddy. Grab your fish and do a quick pick real quick. You can see, look how full this female is of eggs. We're gonna go ahead and get her back in the water even though she's a keeper. We're trying to do our part so we can keep four per person. We're only gonna keep two per person, which is half. Only one can be a female, so three females on the boat. Three and a half pound, 16 and a half inch. Awesome, thanks dude. Back down to the depths. Damn, now we catching some fish. Told you, I had to put the cap on. Oh, that's female, she's full of eggs. Dude, I was not recording. Coming over here, look at this stud of a female. She swallowed it, dude. She swallowed. That's my biggest, that's my biggest inshore talk. All right, chill out. I'm gonna try to get this out of you. Look at the size of this talk. Goodness gracious, big old man. Oh my God! 
Look at the lips on that girl. Wow, this is amazing. So I was just telling Chris, I couldn't feel the jig heads. I, I don't know how you do it, Morgan. Cool. Morgan's filming, he's behind the camera. I don't know how he feels them pick it up. This line went slack. I literally saw it for the first time. And she, wow, what a fish. We're gonna tag her and get her back. So awesome fish, let me measure this and weigh her. Nine pounder, dude. Nine pounds. Wow, holy nice. moly. First 20 incher on this boat inshore. Right Good. Yeah, All right, guys. Nine pounds, 20 inches. Fat female going back. There she goes. Awesome. Give him back to nature, baby. Give him back to the blue. Look at the teeth marks on this thing from that fish. <laughs> You guys are gonna be like, that lying, man. This is what I use. One three quarter ounce bottom sweeper jig on that bad boy. I know you guys probably didn't see all the action. I don't were we I don't even think we were recording it. We weren't. I don't think you guys didn't you just missed it. You saw the aftermath. That's what caught him. And a shrimp. A shrimp! That's a nice fish on this boat today. Morgan at 18 and a half, 18, Chris 18 and a half, or 18, and that 20. Coach Morgan, Coach Morgan's in effect, y'all. Remember, Morgan's the one that taught me how to talk fish. These are all fat females coming in here, y'all. Look at that. Bottom sweeper, one ounce, right on the bottom. Beautiful little fish right there. Beautiful female. Going back, no matter what. We're not even measuring these females. They're just going back. There you go. Tiger togs. Dude, they're all full of eggs, y'all. This is crazy. But a good sign is these are healthy fish. Pretty, pretty fish right there. Beautiful. Look at the belly on this girl. There's your tog, y'all. Don't make some more babies. Oh, don't mess up my lens, son. <laughs> Dang, what's he doing? I don't know. He's crazy. Throughout the process. There you go. I saw that.
Hey man, those are closed, bud. Can't keep those. Hey, rockfish on the bottom sweeper. Oh, you got yeah. We gotta take a picture. How of that, cool man. is that? We're gonna hopefully like, the bottom sweeper guy will send you some more jigs. I do not want a hook in my hand. Settle down, son. Dude, check that out. Rockfish on the bottom sweeper. On a shrimp. That's cool. Shrimp, bottom sweeper, rockfish. How cool. Awesome. Not a huge one, but that's fun. That's cool. Oh my god. There you go. Good hit. Jeez. Oh, this is a big thing. Running. these females back that are keepers or whatnot you hope somebody's gonna keep that fish if they catch it most people are gonna keep that fish This is attempt, attempt number six for Morgan on trying to pull the boat up. <laughs> That's fine, go. Come on. Come on. Come on, make fun of me all you want. I will. You gotta learn how to do it though. That's the only way you learn. Alright, my dudes. We are done for the day in Ocean City, Maryland. It was a great day. Mr. Morgan took the medal for the most fish. Chris had fun, and I caught the biggest fish. I'm gonna take that. We've got uh, two nice keepers in the boat, both males. We threw all the females back today, including four keeper females. Um, again, you're allowed to keep four tog, a person. We could have kept all those fish, but these are spawning females. We want to get back in the population, at least to lay their eggs. And if somebody keeps them later, they keep them later, so be it. But, um, you know, it's different than in the fall. If we were fishing these tog in the fall, we would have kept those females. Um, we don't usually keep tog over 20 inches on this boat. That's just the way we do it. We don't, they don't eat as good. There's no reason for us to do that. So, two great males right there. Nice fish too, those are big fish. They're dead, you can tell. You're not allowed to transport tog at all, but we're gonna fillet those up so they're ready to go. Um, I'll probably put mine on ice. Yeah, I don't want it. Because I know Morgan doesn't want it, but Morgan caught that and Chris caught that. That's beautiful fish, Chris, guys, both of you guys. Fishing. It's always good to have the boys along for the ride because you know I don't like fishing by myself. So, another good day. Always a fun trip, man. With the road, man. It was cold. We were pretty much the only ones out there on the water today. We appreciate you guys watching. If you have not, hit that little thumbs up button down there, scroll right there, right down there, and then hit subscribe for me. You know the deal. Check us out. We'll see you on the next video. Appreciate it. Much love.